Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at, well, we're going to be taking a look at the World Challenge Raid and essentially all the rewards you can get. So you can get 100 Legends Limited Power and you can get 700 Chrono Crystals. The World Challenge Raid essentially uh, follows the standard raid slash uh, hyperdimensional carp formula. Uh, there are characters who are battle bonus characters and battle or bonus drop characters that can increase your percentage of the drop chance for the medals as well as the actual quantity itself. A lot of them are the latest summonable units, the units from the Dragon Ball Saga banner and some free to play options as well. Now you will receive the worldwide raid medal obviously which you can use to obtain your rewards and alongside that as well you also have the ability to earn these sagas from the movie medals so pretty good stuff now in terms of the actual event itself of course this event is pretty straightforward i think anyone who's done a world challenge raid or just a raid in general knows how it works uh, essentially you get three limited attempts per day where you'll get increased rewards you'll join up with an ally or a partner on co-op online and the two of you will have to defeat the boss in terms of the battle bonus drop rate it's good to build your team with units that increase the bonus drop chance but you want to have an attacker that has a battle bonus battle bonus determines damage bonus drop determines rewards now there are some missions that will guarantee you 500 raid medals which is good it's a nice head start and those missions are fairly easy requiring you just to complete the limited time attempts per day of which you get three now in terms of the rewards exchange, there is Legends Limited Z Power, 100 of it, which is pretty cool. And also there is 700 Chrono Crystals, along with other great rewards, Arts Boost Cores, um, you know, normal multi Z Power. There's plenty of great stuff here. So farm the raid as much as you can so that you can earn yourself some of the really, really, really good rewards. Now in terms of building or you know, constructing your team, uh, like I said, the main focal, focal point is to have a battle bonus character, ideally a blue type battle bonus character because Gogeta is red typing. And then you want to fill up your supports with battle bonus drop characters. That's realistically all you need to do. It's not that big a deal. So you should really get to work on that as soon as possible and finish that up as quickly as possible. Uh, you basically can increase your rewards quite substantially this way. And it's a way to basically take yourself from getting like five medals a run to like 85 medals a run, which is kind of a big deal. So make sure that if you don't have any of the late assemblable units, try and at least pick up the free to play ones. They do help. They do make your life a bit easier. I do highly suggest you do that. Now, in terms of the actual raid itself, if you are someone who's never done one before, raids are very, very simple. All you have to do is essentially treat it like a hyperdimensional co-op. So in a hyperdimensional co-op, your goal essentially is to destroy the boss's shield. By destroying the boss's shield, you will open them up for damage and then you want to use your rising rush. It's the same in the raid. Your boss will have a shield, a blue bar that indicates their shield. You will break that blue bar. Once you have broken the blue bar, then you will perform a rising rush. Wait for your ally to also have rising rush available so that you can do significant damage. You can also dodge attacks and you can also intercept attacks for your ally if there's an exclamation mark above their head. And should your ally do a strike or blast card at the same time as the boss, you can clash with them and do increased damage by hitting them with a strike or blast card attack at the same time. And of course, if the boss has to deal with the rising rush, you have to time the reticle so that you can escape the rising rush. But that's, that's really about it, honestly speaking. Once you've broken the blue bar, you should be able to defeat the boss with a rising rush if your character's got enough Z power and equipment. If not, you just go again. Uh, usually, at worst case scenario, it takes two times if you use your rising rush at the same time as your ally. If not, then you make your life a lot harder, uh, but that's entirely your fault then. <laughs> but yeah, basically it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, that's essentially it. Pretty solid rewards as always from the raid. It's always a really nice way to stock up on Chrono Crystals and to get things like Legends of Z Power. So it is always appreciated and always really cool. And then from there, basically, yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. But that is basically going to be it from me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, bye.